Now that we have fully explored the government perspective on the housing crisis in Hong Kong, it's time to shift our focus to another key group in the housing situation, the corporations. Ricky Yu is the chief executive officer of the first social housing enterprise in Hong Kong named Light B. Their housing projects can be found in all 18 districts of Hong Kong. Seeing as Yu has experience and reputation within the public housing sector, he could give us insight into the shortage of Hong Kong's housing and land supply from the perspective of a provider of short-term housing needs. Hopefully his story will be different enough from that of Felix Chen to give us a more insightful perspective. In an interview that was conducted, Ricky first told us that he has been working as the co-founder of a social housing enterprise, as mentioned before, Light B, which aims to offer affordable housing that isn't a part of the public housing policy appointed by the government. When asked about how he sees the prospect of developing new land around Lantau and the new territories, he stated that doing so in Hong Kong is a lot harder than in other cities. Due to Hong Kong's mountainous terrain and environment, it takes a lot more to open up projects in areas with less pre-existing infrastructure. Yu believe that the choices Light B offers are much more efficient and affordable than the ones offered by the government currently. Firstly, public housing works in a first-come, first-served system, which provides fairness and the absence of bias. However, the people who are living in absolute slash immediate poverty are not guaranteed spots in public housing facilities if they don't sign up first. Therefore, in the short term, this policy cannot solve the housing crisis that those in absolute slash immediate poverty have to deal with. Yu then goes on to explain the new transitional housing projects, which are a collaborative effort between the government and social enterprises, in which Light B is included. Based on the official government website, the main point of the transitional housing projects is a type of construction labeled Modular Integrated Construction. For reference, Modular Integrated Construction is a construction whereby freestanding integrated modules are manufactured in a prefabrication factory, which is then transported to the site for installation in the building. This method also puts together pre-made segments of a building. Based on this, Modular Integrated Construction should greatly decrease the amount of time required to construct new buildings so that those in need can be housed quickly. For that reason, Yu thinks that if the government, NGOs, and private developers can work together, it is possible to make these projects beneficial for all sides involved. He wholly believes that all three groups should strive for the eradication of the housing crisis as it is not only a question of morality, but it's the crisis that negatively affects Hong Kong's economy. Regardless of the difference of opinions, in comparison, Ricky Yu and Felix Chung both acknowledge the urgency of the housing crisis. They both explicitly agree that there needs to be a stronger form of cooperation between the government, mainly, and other groups such as social enterprises and private developers. From what we've seen, there is potentially a lack of active t attention towards this issue. The government is aware of the situation. However, the time it takes for land-related and housing-related projects to be published is hindered the progress towards a more supportable system for the impoverished, which Chung repeatedly pointed out. Not to mention, the different opinions of each relevant group have made it harder for everyone to agree towards an overall goal or solution. It will take years of cooperation and open-mindedness as well as a few bright, empathetic, and knowledgeable people or groups to make that change. It was a great opportunity to meet with two people who are very familiar with the housing crisis. However, it should be said that these two people come from different backgrounds and obviously have different opinions on the ongoing situation. Ricky Yu's opinion seems to be more optimal with a laid out plan, while Felix Chung's opinion could be seen as slightly defensive and more so pragmatic. Using the information from the two perspectives, hopefully we've helped you piece together at least a self-thought opinion on what different groups such as the Hong Kong government and social housing enterprises can do to strive for a city with substantial housing and welfare for those in poverty. Poverty itself is a whole other kind of beans that you can do your own research on if you're interested in. But the relevance of the issue we've talked about for this series of videos is not to be understated. Hope you enjoyed this informative mini-documentary. 